Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Carl D'Souza. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Power Platform TV. So today we're going to take a look at Postman and we're going to take a look at how to use Postman with your common data service environments. Okay, so Postman is a developer tool that allows you to uh, send and receive uh, requests. Okay, so in, the, in our case here, uh, we have the common data service and we have Power Apps and we have Dynamics 365, right? And what we want to do is um, we want to use this Postman application to uh, retrieve information from the web API that is provided by, uh, by Power Apps and the common data service. So we want to hit that API, we want to retrieve that information, and we want to uh, basically uh, create records in the common data service uh, you know, through Postman, right? So we're going to take a look at how to do that today. So let's do it. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up our uh, Azure environment in order to uh, be able to make these requests with Postman. Okay, so uh, first thing we'll do, uh, browse out to the uh, portal.azure.com and what we'll do is we're going to head over to the Azure Active Directory. Okay, so um, if you click on the sidebar here, we see Azure Active Directory, I'm going to click on that. And what we'll be doing is uh, we'll be creating a new app registration. Okay, so um, we see here on the left app registrations. We're going to click this, and uh, you can see here that I don't have any app registrations at the moment. That's fine. Um, I'm going to click new registration here. Okay, and uh, now we can give uh, some details about this app. So um, I'm going to call this uh, Postman app. You can call this anything you want, and um, we can see here this supported account types. Um, we have accounts in this organizational directory only, uh, accounts in any organizational directory. So you got single or multi-tenant here, and then you got accounts in any organizational directory, uh, multi-tenant and uh, personal Microsoft accounts. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go with the second one here, multi-tenant. And um, for the uh, redirect URI, I'm going to put uh, we have these different options here. I'm going to keep this as web and maybe I'll just put uh, contozo.com in here. So I'm going to add this URL here like so. Okay. Um, down here on the bottom left, I'm going to click register and that's going to uh, start setting up this app. All right. So we have the app set up and um, what will be uh, the useful thing here is the uh, client ID. So we can see here the client ID. Um, so we'll be uh, basically using that later. Um, so just make sure that um, you've noted that and uh, we'll be using that. So the next thing is to uh, head over to the manifest here on the left. And what we will do is um, we're going to edit this manifest here. And we're just going to set this to allow public client equal to true. Okay. So let's get rid of the null. Let's put in true. And uh, also what I'm going to do is uh, if we scroll down here, we have OAuth to allow implicit flow. Okay. So I'm going to set that to true as well. Um, if you don't set that to true, you may uh, run into a, uh, a response token error or something. So, um, you know, I'm just going to set that to true there to get around that error. Okay. So uh, now that that's done, I'm going to save this and let's go over to API permissions. Okay. So these are the permissions here. Um, and I'm going to click on add permission. And we can see here uh, dynamic CRM, right? So I'm going to click on dynamic CRM. And what I will do is uh, click on delegated permissions. And I'll also click on this permission to uh, for user impersonation. And uh, so I'll check that checkbox. And then down here, I'm going to click on add permissions. Okay. So now it's added the permissions for this app. Okay. So, um, so that's cool. We have all this information now. Um, so the next thing we'll do is head over to Postman and let's start to uh, configure it from the Postman side. 
All right, so now we're in Postman, and uh, let's go ahead and start to set this up. So, um, so let's paste in the URL of uh, our D365 environment, okay? And the web API for this uh, environment is going to be, if I add a slash, it's going to be API data, and then the version of the uh, API, right? So in this case, it's going to be uh, 9.1. So uh, that's what the URL is going to look like. So if I ran a, a uh, get request now, if I just tried to click send on this one, um, we can see that I didn't get anything back and I actually get a 401 unauthorized, okay? So um, that makes sense because I haven't provided any kind of authentication in order to access uh, this environment. So um, let's go ahead and set up uh, some authorization here. So if I click on the authorization tab, uh, we see the type here, and uh, I'm going to change this type to uh, OAuth2, okay? So that's the authentication that's going to get us into D365. So here we can enter in uh, some information about the token, and in this case I'm going to enter in the token name, uh, let's just call it uh, D365, and the grant type I am going to leave as implicit, and then we're going to need a uh, callback URL, so this is what I had uh, provided earlier in the Azure app. So I'm going to just make this uh, contozo.com. Now the auth URL, uh, I'm going to paste in here. And what this is, is uh, this is going to be the URL here of our D365 org. And so I'm going to actually just type this in here. Okay, so it's going to look like that. The client ID, we're going to grab this from the Azure app. So I'm going to go back over to Azure. And if I click on overview, and this is the uh, client ID right here. Okay. So I'm going to copy this and then go back to Postman and paste that in. All right. Uh, next up is the scope. We can leave that blank and the uh, state as well. Let's go leave that blank. All right. So now I'm going to click on Request Access Token. So we get this pop-up that says um, permissions requested. Um, here is the Postman app. It would like to access uh, the common data service and um, some other information here. So I'm going to click Accept. And this gives us the access token here, right? So we're going to click Use Token. And uh, now we have the access token and we're actually ready to start making requests, all right? And so if we click send now, um, let's see what happens. So we get this um, response back, right? So we're now, actually, we're now actually hitting the web API for this D365 environment. Um, let's go ahead and change this. Let's go ahead and just uh, see if we can get all accounts back in the system. So if I click send now, um, there we have it, right? So we get uh, all the accounts back and uh, we're using the web API. In fact, uh, you know what? Let's go through a quick example of uh, creating an account using Postman, right? So let's go ahead and browse out to the Microsoft documentation. And uh, we can see here that um, we have a example here of uh, how to create an entity record using the web API. And um, so this is in the uh, Common Data Service Power Apps documentation. And if we scroll down, we can see here that this is the HTTP request uh, to do a basic create, okay? So, um, you know, if we uh, basically pass this information in, um, you know, doing a post here, posting to accounts, um, you know, uh, 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 providing this uh, header information, and then providing this in the body, of our Postman request, uh, we can see we'll see that we'll be able to actually create an account like this in our org. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, just copy this, and we will um, go ahead and try this. Right, so I'm going to copy this body here and flip back over to my Postman, and over here in the body, this is what we want. Um, I'm going to set this to uh, raw. And I'm going to paste this in, and instead of text, this is going to be JSON that we're providing, right? So this is a sample account that we're sending across. 
Um, I'm going to put here sample account YouTube and I'm going to, uh, what we're doing is we're providing these fields. So this is the name field that we're providing for the account in the system. We also have the uh, credit on hold, we're setting to false. We're setting an address one latitude. We're sending over a description for this account, uh, a revenue and the account category code as well. You know, so any of these fields in your uh, entity that you want to uh, create on the record, you can send through here in the um, in the web API and have those created, okay? So we're sending those through in the body and this is gonna be a post request. And if we flip back over to headers, let's go ahead and take a look at the headers that are required. And we can see here uh, content type is application JSON and um, we have some other things here, right? So I'm gonna create a uh, content type is application JSON in my Postman. So as you start typing, you'll get this appearing here and we're gonna make this uh, ap application slash JSON here, okay? So now we're sending that through in the, in the uh, header of this request, okay? So we've got our header and our body set up uh, we're going to be creating this new account and uh, hopefully this will work. So let's go ahead and click send. Okay, so we get a 402 no content back. Okay, so it says that the service successfully processed the request, um, but it is not returning any content. Okay, so that's actually what we wanted, right? So now let's go and jump into our D365. Um, you know, if we're clever, we could actually just uh, run this, uh, the get off the accounts and maybe do a filter in here and uh, make sure that the account's coming back this way. I'm just gonna do it in D365 to show you that the account was actually created, okay? So let me go and uh, open up a web browser. All right, so that's opened up. I'm gonna click on the uh, D365 app here. Um, and of course, if you're doing this uh, outside of D365, but you have your own custom model driven app, then you would uh, click on that to get to, uh, to the app so that you could check out to see if the update worked. Uh, let's click on accounts here. And we should see if we scroll down, uh, there it is, sample account YouTube. And we could go ahead and click on it and uh, just verify that um, it has actually been uh, created as we expected using Postman, right? Um, other way to get to this data, if you're, uh, you know, if you go to make.parapps.com, you'll be able to see the same information. Uh, go to data, click on entities, and we're going to select the account, and then go to the data that way. So, um, you know, if you're purely outside of uh, D365, creating these model-driven apps. Uh, you know, click on the data tab here for your entity and you'll see here if you scroll down, there's our sample account YouTube, right? So uh, that's it basically. Um, that's how, that's a couple of examples of uh, how to use Postman and um, hopefully you'll get some value out of it with your Power Apps and D365. Thanks for watching. So that's it guys. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course check out my blog at carldesuza.com. Thank you.